on the weekends we make breakfast together, just kind of our individual families. It's a little tradition that we have that we do something a little above and beyond what we normally do throughout the week. But today, since we're planning and needed to meet today, we decided to make breakfast as a big family today. So we're all together early Saturday morning and and the guys really are the ones that are cooking. I mean, usually on Saturday morning, that's Chuck's it's their thing. thing. Ben yeah. does ours too. He does the yeah. cooking here on Saturday. So sometimes ours is on Sunday morning, depending on basketball games and what we have going on. But typically happens. So, anyways, that's the plan for today. We're gonna get planning and eat and eat good food. So. Hey everyone, this is Chuck with the Hesitant Homesteader. Ben and I began this breakfast feast by preparing a breakfast casserole and spiced carrot waffles. Are you going to eat all that bacon? No. Look at that yummy bacon. Mmm. Maybe we should not cook. We should just eat all the bacon right now. Yeah. The littlest ones love helping out with these big projects, so I enlisted some carrot grating muscle. Almost done with the carrot. Good job. Thanks for your help. What? Carrot? Carrot. Mmm. The spiced carrot waffle recipe is pretty unique and it includes toasted pecans, freshly grated carrots, raisins, and gluten-free flour. It also uses a low glycemic coconut sugar, making it a pretty healthy recipe, actually. After Ben popped his casserole into the oven, I got down to work making a mountain of waffles using two waffle makers. As you pull the waffles out, you can keep them in an oven at 107 degrees, so everyone can eat at the same time. You can easily make a large batch of these waffles ahead of time and keep them in the freezer to use throughout the week. Just be sure to let them completely cool before you wrap them up or place them in freezer bags. A few minutes in a toaster oven is all it takes for a fast and delicious weekday breakfast. You can find the recipe in the description. The breakfast casserole turned out great. This is a perfect recipe for using up all the odds and ends that have accumulated over the week. You can grate leftover pieces of cheese, dice up those bits of vegetables that you've been saving, and it's a perfect way to use fresh herbs. Weekends are busy times for sure, but it's great being able to let the kids see their cousins while the adults can linger over another cup of coffee. Big family breakfasts can be a great tradition that help build strong family relationships and great memories. Please tell us about your breakfast traditions in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.